the minute that I start recording, she jumps and goes away. What? Rosie, come on. Oh, you want to go outside now? Now that I started recording? Well, you're just going to have to wait. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the second installment of this year's collection month. It's the video game collection today. The one that a lot of people look forward to every year. It's not the one that everybody on the channel looks forward to, unfortunately, but it's the video game collection. Are you guys excited? I certainly am. There's been a lot of changes in the video game collection over this last year. A lot of new stuff has been added. You're going to see a lot of fun titles added to the collection, and I think you guys are going to be really happy with what I have to show you. So without me droning on any longer with this pointless intro, let's go ahead and jump into the games that I keep in my bedroom. So the only games that I have in my bedroom are my Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance, and my Switch games. We're obviously starting with the Game Boy stuff, but I've also got some loose DS games here. I've got Jeopardy and D Deal or No Deal. So I guess we'll start in this one. This is the stuff that I don't take with me. This is a little like metal case that I think a wallet came in at one point. I use that to carry a lot of stuff with me whenever I'm going out and stuff like that. So, you got Super Breakout, the game that I probably play the most on my Game Boy Advance. It's Tetris, The Incredible Hulk, this four pack with SpongeBob Super Sponge, uh, Freeze Frame Frenzy, Shadow Showdown, and Rocket Power Zero Gravity F Zone, Zoe 101, Spider Man, Lilo and Stitch 2, Homsterville Havoc. The first, Lalo and Stitch. Ah, an absolute classic. Razor Freestyle Scooter. Absolutely just, everyone knows this game. Jimmy, Neutron Jet Fusion. Cars. Spider-Man 2. Jedi Power Battles. Namco Museum. Dr. Mario. I can't believe they made a video game out of this. Drake and Josh. Neptune's Racing. Fantastic Four. Madden 2003. Spider-Man 3, with a very crudely drawn label. Revenge of the Flying Dutchman. Attack of the Clones. Cartoon N Network Speedway. Football Mania. This should be Lego Football Mania. Plus, it should also be Lego Soccer Mania. Uh, but it's none of that. It's Football Mania. Battle for Volcano Island. This is a Game Boy Advance video card. I believe it's Nickelodeon Volume 1, because it's got... SpongeBob, Fairly Odd Parents, and then, uh, what is that down there? I don't know. It's been a while since I booted this card. I didn't write that. I bought this used from, I think, a game exchange. Is that Rocco's Modern Life? It might be. Some other Game Boy Advance video cards here. We've got the Fairly Odd Parents Volume 1 and SpongeBob Volume 2. Oh, here's another loose DS game, Avatar the Burning Earth. Now we've got some Game Boy Color down here. Spider-Man. Fix-It Fun. Star Wars. I believe this is the NES or SNES port. X-Men Mutant Academy. Lego Stunt Rally. Lego Alpha Team. Spider-Man 2, which apparently was owned by someone named Evan. Gex. Enter the Gecko. Donkey Kong. Game & Watch Gallery 4. Daredevil. Ford Racing 3. Spider-Man, Mysterio's Menace, and Pirates of the Caribbean, The Curse of the Black Pearl. That's all for the stuff that stays here primarily. Now let's look at the stuff that's in the travel case. We've got Spy Muppets, License to Croak, Star Wars Trilogy, Apprentice of the Force. Unique Star Wars game. It, it lets you play through all three of the original films. It's unlike any other Star Wars game I've ever played. This one's not, though. This is a standard side-scroller. Episode 3, Revenge of the Sith. Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. Mario Pinball Land. NES Baseball. Pokemon Sapphire. Jimmy Neutron vs. Jimmy Negatron. Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine. Batman Beyond Return of the Joker. Cars Made International. And finally, Frogger 2. 
Now my physical Switch games live over here on top of this Windows 95 computer in this corner of my room because they're the only, it's really the only place I could find to actually put them out on to display because the Switch has such a weird box style that doesn't really fit with anything else. The most recent acquisition to the Switch c collection is Super Mario RPG. That's why that's not alphabetized. But underneath that, we've got Animal Crossing New Horizons, the Ezio collection from Assassin's Creed, Cars 3 Driven to Win, Ghostbusters, Hasbro Family Game Night. That has... what does that have? Let's find out. It's got Monopoly, Risk, and Trivial Pursuit. Lego Brawls, Lego The Incredibles, Mario Golf Super Rush, Mario Kart 8, Mario Party Superstars, Mario Strikers Battle League, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Metroid Prime Remastered, Mortal Kombat 11, NBA 2K18, Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, SpongeBob SquarePants The Cosmic Shake, Super Mario 3D All-Stars, Super Mario Odyssey, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge, and finally the Calabunga Collection. Of these games, I have beaten uh, Shredder's Revenge. Um, I've unlocked all the characters in Smash Bros. Ultimate. Does that technically count as beating it? <laughs> uh, Cosmic Shake and Mario vs. Donkey Kong. I beat all the main story levels on this. I haven't gone back and played the bonus levels yet. So moving past my room, we are back in the hallway. It should look familiar from last week. Steelbooks, the boutique Blu-rays. But now, we've got DS and 3DS games out here in the hallway. I found this little shelf at Goodwill a few years ago. It fits DS games perfectly, but as you can see, it's too small. <laughs> I've got too many stacked up over here, and uh, it just, it just, wow, too much stuff, too much stuff. I need to find another shelf like this, or at least figure out what brand of shelf does this so I can buy another one, because these just being stacked over here, I mean, it looks okay, but I don't know. I should probably upgrade it at some point. So starting off with the 3DS, we've got Lego Batman 2, Lego City Undercover, The Chase Begins, Ninjago, Shadow of Ronin, Force Awakens, Luigi's Mansion, Dark Moon, Mario and Luigi, Bowser's Inside Story, plus Bowser Jr.'s Journey, uh, Mario and Luigi, Paper Jam, Mario Kart 7, New Super Mario Bros. 2, Super Mario 3D Land, and Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. That's not all the 3DS games. You're going to see a couple of them littered throughout here because I haven't put them in alphabetical order. Such as the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask down there. And then I think, yeah, Ocarina of Time is down there as well. But now we've got DS games. The Amazing Spider-Man, Avatar, this four-game collection that includes Battleship, Sorry, Trouble, and Connect 4. Uh, Cars, Mater National, Cars R Racerama, Cars 2, Drawn to Life Spongebob version, Hasbro Family Game Night, Indiana Jones and the Staff of Kings, Justice League Heroes, Kung Fu Panda, Lego B B Battles, the Ninjago variant of Lego Battles, Lego Batman, Lego Lord of the Rings, Lego Rock Band, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, Lego Star Wars 2, Lego Star Wars 3, Madagascar Karts, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games, Mario Kart DS, Mario Party DS, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, Many Land Mayhem, New Super Mario Brothers, Nicktoons Battle for Volcano Island, Nicktoons MLB, here are the other 3DS games up here. Here's Batman, Arkham Origins Blackgate, SpongeBob's Truth or Square, Mario Sports Superstars, and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Yes, I know SpongeBob's Truth or Square is technically a DS game. I don't want anyone to yell at me about that. Penguins of Madagascar, Phineas and Ferb, 
Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest, At World's End, Pop Tropica Adventures, Ratatouille, Shrek's Carnival Craze, Shrek the Third, Spider-Man 2, Spider-Man Battle for New York, SpongeBob, Atlantis Square Pantis, SpongeBob's B Boating Bash, Creature from the Krusty Krab, Globs of Doom, Beach Party Cook-Off, The Yellow Avenger, Star Wars Battlefront Elite Squadron, The Clone Wars Jedi Alliance, The Force Unleashed 2, Lethal Alliance, Super Mario 64 DS, Tiger Woods PGA Tour, TMNT, and Toy Story 3. Now we move on to another shelf. This one's new though. <laughs> this was another Goodwill find. I think this cost like 10 bucks or something. I replaced the old shelf that w was here, that three, that three shelf one with this guy. We got four cubes here and they're deeper than the or original shelf. So starting with the Wii stuff, we've got Wii Sports. I think I bought this artwork from someone online and they printed it for me because my printer's not great for stuff like this. Um, you can see the uh, the dog chew holes there for when my dog Steeler was really young. He's no longer with us, so this is kind of a little homage, I guess, to him. Wii Sports Resort, We Play, Avatar and Avatar the Burning Earth. Puss in Boots, Kung Fu Panda, D D Donkey Kong Country Returns, Creature from the Krusty Krab, Truth or Square, Attack of the Toy Bots, Globs of Doom, Nicktoons MLB, 2K12, Animal Crossing City Folk, New Super Mario Bros. Wii, Super Paper Mario, Mario Super Sluggers, Super Smash Bros. Brawl, Mario G Galaxy 1 and 2, and Mario Kart Wii. And since the, the, the shelf is so deep now, I have to double stack my games, which is fine. <laughs> so in the back there, we've got Wii Fit Plus, EA Active, Cars Major National, Cars Racerama, Cars Toon, Major Stall Tales, Cars 2, Madagascar Karts, a bunch of you draw games. We got the studio, we got Dude's Big Adventure. What a classic title. Uh, we got Pictionary and Spongebob Squiggle Pants, Madden 08, The Goat, Hasbro Family Game Night 3, Wipeout the Game, Toy Story Mania, that ride at Disney World is really fun. I don't think I've ever played the game, though. Toy Story 3, Super Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz, Carnival Games, Mini Golf, New Carnival Games, Lego Star Wars 3, Complete Saga, Clone Wars, Lightsaber Duels, and The Force Unleashed. And then I've got a couple GameCube titles up here, Spongebob Movie, Ultimate Spider-Man, and then this one on the bottom came from a retro shop in Illinois. It's got Madden 08 and NFL 2K3 on the GameCube. The other GameCube games live at Hope's House, and we're not there yet, so we'll take a look at those in due time. So for the Xbox One and the PS4, since these games come in cases that are slightly smaller than these regular DVD size cases. I don't have to double stack, at least not yet. I can just stack them on top of each other. So I got a ton more space up here for fun activities. <laughs> so for Xbox, we have the Bioshock Collection, Far Cry 6, Gears of War 4, Rare Replay, Lego Harry Potter, Borderlands 3, Avengers, Lego Worlds, Lego City Undercover, the Lego Ninjago movie game, DC Super Villains, the Lego Movie 2 game, Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2, Jedi Fallen Order, Grand Theft Auto 5, both of the Batman Telltale series seasons, uh, the Game of Thrones series, Guardians of the Galaxy series, and then I think that's season 4 of the Walking Dead series. I still need to get season... or no, is that season 3? I can't remember. It's either season 3 or 4 that, that I don't have yet. Uh, 2016 version of Doom, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Mafia 3, and then these two games down here that are in the GameStop branded cases. 
They haunt me to this very day. Minecraft Story Mode and Gears of War Ultimate Edition. Up here we got Guardians of the Galaxy, Tomb Raider, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Shadow of the Tomb Raider. The only one I've played is the first one and I didn't finish it, but it was really good. Red Dead Redemption, not an Xbox One game, but it's in an Xbox One case, so it lives here. Uh, Nickelodeon Kart Racers, Injustice 2, Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, Disney Infinity 3.0, South Park, The Fractured But Whole, Mortal Kombat X, and then a, another game that lives in a GameStop branded case, Halo 5 Guardians. And over here, this is my small but mighty PS4 section. Uh, the Last of Us Part 2, Marvel Spider-Man, Days Gone, Squadrons, God of War, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and Call of Duty World War 2. I'm still collecting for the PS4. I need to get... Uh, Miles Morales, as well as The Last of Us Remastered. Um, but other than that, I can't think of anything else I really want for the PS4. Everything that I would want to play from that g generation, I either already have on the Xbox One, or I have access to it on the Xbox One, or I can play it on the Switch. Hey, look, here's a bonus little c collection for you. My lightsabers. One, two, three. As you can see, we've moved on to the guest room, <laughs> and we're here on this cube shelf here. This is where all the Xbox 360 and original Xbox games are stored. If you watched the collection video last week, there's my fingers, hello, you would have got a glimpse of the Xbox 360, original Xbox, and the Wii. They're all in the guest room still, with my little Batman Arkham City statue there from the collector's edition pretty badass we do have an original atari 2600 it was my dad's when he was a kid we're not sure if it works because none of our tvs have rf so we don't know but it does have combat in there in case you were wondering so we take a look here on the xbox side we have atari anthology batman begins batman dark tomorrow the bible game burnout three Fantastic Four, Far Cry Instincts, Finding Nemo, Ford Mustang, Ford vs. Chevy, The Godfather, Halo 1 and 2, Incredibles, Rise of the Underminer, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King, Max Payne. Max Payne and Burnout 3 were two of the first games I ever found at a Goodwill. Midway Arcade Treasures, Need for Speed Underground, the Punisher, a personal grail of mine. Still have not played that game yet, but I want to do it for Let's Plays eventually. Uh, Sega GT 2002 and Jet Set Radio Future, The Simpsons Road Rage, Spider-Man 1 and 2, two copies of Star Wars The Clone Wars and Tetris Worlds. One copy belongs to my brother. Star Wars Episode 3 Revenge of the Sith, Republic Commando, an awesome game. For the original Xbox, absolutely wonderful. Star Wars Obi-Wan, Superman the Man of Steel, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's the 2012 show's theme song, but this game's really fun. And then the third installment of that series, Mutant Mayhem. I do have two, you'll be seeing that later. Thrillville, Tony Hawk's Underground, X2 Wolverine's Revenge, and then this demo disc, this Exhibition Volume 7. Seven game demos inside. You got all these demos included on this disc here. This is worth like a ton of money. And I found it at a Goodwill. And I was like, I don't want to get rid of it. I was going to sell it, but then I was like, this is kind of cool. So I'm going to hold on to it. So now we move on to the 360. We've got The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Assassin's Creed 4, Arkham Asylum, one of my dogs. Hello, Rebel. Down here, there's Arkham City, Arkham Origins. For some reason, this game's super expensive now on the Xbox 360. It's still super cheap on the PS3, but for the 360, prices are like 30, 40 bucks. What happened? The Bourne Conspiracy, Captain America Super Soldier, Call of Duty 4, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, 
Black Ops 1 and 2. Black Ops 2 is still one of my favorite shooters to play. Cars 3, Driven to Win, Crackdown, Deadpool, all three D Disney Infinities, Doom 3, Forza Horizon 2, uh, every Gears of War game that came out on the 360 except for the first one. I think Hope has the first one. You'll also be seeing that later, but that's 2, 3, and then Redemption. Grand Theft Auto 5, Halo 4, Halo Reach, Hellboy the Science of Evil, The Incredible Hulk, Iron Man, Iron Man 2, Connect Adventures, Avengers Battle for Earth, Connect Joyride, Connect Sports 2 Pack, and then just Connect Sports by itself, Connect Star Wars, Wipeout 2, The Lego Batman Trilogy, Lego Indiana Jones, Lego Lord of the Rings, the Lego Movie, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, still one of my absolute favorite games. Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, Star Wars The Force Awakens, Madden 08, again, The Goat, NBA 2K13, NCAA Football 08. Another really good good we'll find here is Need for Speed Carbon. This game's also worth a pretty good chunk of change. It's worth like 30, 40 bucks, at least last time I looked on the secondary market. Found it at Goodwill for two bucks. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End, Plants vs. Zombies, Garden Warfare, Quantum of Solace, Sonic Generations, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis Collection, Star Wars The Clone Wars, R R Republic Heroes, not a great Star Wars game, but it does have kind of fun cutscenes, uh, Thor, God of Thunder, T TMNT, that's from Game Exchange, Kind of a local place out here. You don't see them a lot outside of Kentucky and like Ohio and this area around the country. And then the two seasons of The Walking Dead from Telltale series. And up here we've got Xbox games that were released at Burger King that are compatible with both the 360 and the original Xbox. Sneak King, Pocket Bike, Racer, and big bumping. Right next to this cube shelf though is where my CDs and part of my PC software lives. We have to take a look at these too because I've got quite a few games for the PC. I've got this demo disc um, from Puffs. It includes demos for Fairly Odd Parents Breaking the Rules, Jimmy Neutron versus Jimmy Negatron, and then Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom. Fun there. This isn't a demo, it's a CD-ROM cleaner. We've got Star Wars Math, Jabba's Game Galaxy, Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast, Force Commander, X-Wing vs. TIE Fighter, Just TIE Fighter, Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2, The Battle for Naboo, The Phantom Menace, Indiana Jones and the Infernal Machine, Tomb Raider 1 and 2, SpongeBob Lights, Camera Pants, the Spongebob movie. This isn't Mickey Mouse Preschool. This is Clifford, because I lost the case for Clifford years ago. So, this became a donor case, I guess. Um, this is Lego... What is this? Is this Lego Loco, I think it is? Yes. Lego Loco. And underneath that, Lego Racers, Lego Island, Bob the Builder, Can We Fix It? Hello, Rosie. Mystery of the Veggie Island. Underneath that, Thomas and Friends, Trouble on the Tracks, and then Roly Polioli, The Search for Spot. Hey, baby. Do you want to help me film? There's Building the New Line. Under that, another donor case that became a Railway Adventures' case. It's not a Little People CD. <laughs> And then under that, Great Festival Adventure. We've also got some just disc-only stuff. So they got Operation Krabby Patty and Employee of the Month and Battle for Bikini Bottom and Nicktoons B Basketball. Those came in like a SpongeBob branded four-pack. If anyone has any photos of that, I'd love to see that box again because it, it was really nostalgic for me. Those are some of my first PC games I ever got as a kid. Lilo and Stitch Hawaiian Adventure, and Lilo and Stitch Trouble in Paradise. 
Here's Mickey Mouse Preschool and Lego My Style Preschool. I grew up on this game. This was one of my favorites. I remember one time I printed, like, everything that was printable on this and used up, like, all the ink in the printer. I feel like I printed everything on this and Great Festival Ad Adventure. My parents were not happy with me. <laughs> ink was not cheap back then, nor is it cheap today. Moving on from that clump of shelves, we now move into this closet here where I've got more computer software and the Cars video game collection lives in here for right now. Until I get my own house, I can't put up a permanent display for this fantastic game. But I do, in fact, have Cars on every system that it was re re released on, including the Game Boy Advance, the DS, the PSP, the GameCube, the PlayStation 2, the Xbox, the Xbox 360, the Wii, and the PC. And then I've also got two boxed uh, Game Boy Advance games up here. Larry Boy and the Bad Apple, that's actually sealed. And SpongeBob Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, that's just the box. If I pull this glorious stack of my favorite game of all time, just showing you that it is in fact sealed. I don't want you guys to think I'm a liar. Here's some more PC software back here. We've got Star Wars The Force Unleashed, Lego Indiana Jones, Battlefront 2, Empire at War, Thomas Saves the Day, the UK print of that, the B-movie game, Adrenaline Rush 3-pack includes Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2, Skate Park Tycoon, and Matt Hoffman's Pro BMX, both the Fairly Odd Parents games, Breaking the Rules and Shadow Showdown, Trouble on the Tracks, and a recent addition being Special Delivery. I want to do a Let's Play on that, but I don't know if it's like a full-fledged game. Or if it's just like, here's a bunch of learning segments, and you get to click through them. That wouldn't be a fun video. Up here, X-Men Origins Wolverine. Another game that's worth a fair amount of money. I found that for cheap at Half Price Books. And then Pirates of the Caribbean at World's End. That, that particular copy had been on clearance for close to a year at Half Price Books. And I basically bought that out of pity. <laughs> and then if we look up here, there's one last game. There's a... I think that's an MS-DOS computer. I don't know. I got it from my grandfather when he moved out of his house, so I don't know what's on it. I've actually never hooked it up, but it is a compact. It's got two floppy drives. Yippee. My last game up here, there's a whole bunch of boxes and other crap that needs to be thrown out. These vintage collection figures are going to fall. I hope not, at least. We have the big box version of the Great Festival Adventure. My favorite Thomas game of all time. The only game I ever hoped to own in a big box, and I have it. Absolutely beautiful. Say hi, way uh. Say hi to all the people watching. She's cranky. So, we are now here at Hope's house, as you can tell. Here in the living room, she's got her Switch, Xbox 360, and a PS4. I don't remember last year if she had this PS4. This used to belong to my brother. He gave it to her as, like, just a gift because he bought a PS5 and didn't need it anymore. She has a standard PS4 that sounds like a jet plane when it's playing any kind of game, but it is fun. And then that 360 I found at a Goodwill and got for her. And if we look in here, these are the Xbox 360 games and Xbox games that live at her house. We've got Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Lego Star Wars and Lego Star Wars 2, Project Gotham Racing, Simpsons Road Rage, Battle for Bikini Bottom, now I move on to Xbox 360, Adventure Time, Explore the Dungeon, because I don't know, <laughs> and then Adventure Time, Finn and Jake, Investigations, Battlefield, Bad Company 2, Modern Warfare 2, World at War. Through her, I've been vicariously collecting other versions of cars. This is the Xbox 360 Platinum Hits version, Dead Rising, Disney Universe, Fallout 3, the first Gears of War, Halo 3 and 4, Injustice Gods Among Us, Lego Batman and Pure, Lego Indiana Jones and Kung Fu Panda, Lego Marvel, Lego Star Wars 3, Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and Forza Horizon 2, I think? No, Forza Motorsport 2, not Horizon. Uh, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, Minecraft, Minecraft Story Mode, 
mini ninjas. Uh, what's that behind there? Let's find out together. Uh, oh, MLB 13, 2K13. Uh, NBA 2K11, 2K13, Perfect Dark Zero. This is Red Dead Redemption. It just doesn't have the poster art. Uh, the Sims 3 Pets, Skate 3, Skyrim, Sonic All-Star Racing Transformed, Sonic Unleashed, Tomb Raider. What is this? Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Future Soldier. There we go. Uh, Xbox Live Arcade Disc. And then for PS4... She has Uncharted 4, Minecraft, Overwatch, basically worthless now because that game doesn't work anymore, Gran Turismo Sport, Jedi Fallen Order, The Witcher 3, Battlefront 1 and 2, Grand Theft Auto 5, 2K19, and then over here she has Bendy and the Ink M M Machine and Persona 5 Royale. She does have some physical switch games as well just like I do we've got Splatoon 2 Pokemon Violet Adventure Time Pirates of the Incridian Super Monkey Ball Banana Blitz G Go Vacation Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening Paper Mario the Origami King Mario Kart 8 Super Mario 3D All-Stars Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury and Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. For completionist's sake, I should also mention we have this copy of LEGO Star Wars the video game. Uh, th this is for... This is specifically for Mac systems. I bought this for her because I thought it would work on her Mac. Uh, she had a Mac from like 2011, 2012. It was the last version that had the optical drive in it. And I thought, hey, maybe I could get this working for her because she was like, I want a game, but I don't but I have a Mac and can't game at all, which is an unfortunate truth of anyone who has a Mac. So I thought this would work on it. Turns out Mac OS is very particular about the software that it wants to run. This is way too old to run on any modern version of Mac OS. I could probably do it with an emulator or something. I don't know, maybe I'll look into that. We've also got these copies of The Sims 3 and then The Sims 3 Pets. Same deal, we thought they would work on our Mac. Turns out, they don't. But these also can work on Windows, apparently, so... Maybe I'll try them on my PC. I don't know. Now we've come to the part of the collection that everybody wants to see. The PlayStation, the PlayStation 2, the PlayStation 3, and the GameCube. GameCube is over there. PS3 is not connected at the moment. I had to hook up that sound bar the other night. PS3 used to sit on that entertainment center. Now i got to find somewhere else to put it. And then there's the good old PS2 right there and then there's a closer look at the GameCube shelf but we'll take a look at that in due time just calm down oh here's Babu Frick hope bought him in Disney say hi Babu so we'll start with the DS stuff uh, she has more DS games they just don't have their cases uh, I bought her this as a joke are you smarter than a fifth grader and then there's the Scooby-Doo game down here what is this Scooby-Doo who's watching you that came from Mega Replay uh, Tangled, Attack of the Toy Bots, Mario Kart, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, Lego Indiana Jones 2, and we've got this disc-only version of Angry Birds Star Wars, just because it was cheap. And then this Incredible Hulk PlayStation 1 game from this local store called Cardinal Gaming. It's fun. I've played it once or twice. Need to get a better case for it, though. So now, we're going to take a look at the PS2 next to our 3D Blu-rays. We've got ATV Off-Road Fury 1 and 2, Batman, Rise of Shinzu, Cars Racerama, Corvette, Crash Nitro Kart, Disney Golf, Stitch Experiment 626, Ford Racing 2 and 3, Gran Turismo 4, Hulk, The Incredible Hulk Ultimate D Destruction, Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb, and The Staff of Kings. I've been playing this on PC uh, through Steam. It's really good. Jaws Unleashed. Jimmy Neutron, Jet Fusion, Marvel Nemesis, Rise of the Imperfects, this Gundam game that I bought and was going to sell at first, but then Hope got really into anime and was like, don't sell that, and she hasn't played it. <laughs> she doesn't play the PS2. I don't know why she wouldn't let me sell it. Namco Museum, 
NBA Live 2004. Okay, we've got some history with this game. So, for Christmas a couple of years ago, my grandparents had a GameCube. None of the grandkids, like, remembered it or knew about it, so we hooked it up. We played NBA Live 2004 on the GameCube for, like, probably three or four hours. It was awesome. So, in order to recapture that fun, I bought it for the PlayStation 2 from Game Exchange for $4. Yippee. Attack of the Toy Bots, Pirates of the Caribbean, The Legend of Jack Sparrow, Reservoir Dogs, Rocky, Shrek Super Slam, The Simpsons Hit and Run. This has got some interesting history, okay? This is actually a Lego title, and it should be called Lego Soccer Mania, but it's just Soccer Mania. But when you look at this front cover, hey, look, it's Legos. So that's why that's all the way down here and not the L's. Atlantis Square Pantis, Battle for Bikini Bottom. Creature from the Krusty Krab, Lights, Camera, Pants, Revenge of the Flying D Dutchman, Spider-Man 3, Web of Shadows, Battlefront 2, with the original price tag still on it, $50, brand new, never taking that off, Bounty Hunter, Super Bomb Head Racing, this will be a Let's Play one day, I promise, I have not played it yet, because I want to do a Let's Play on it, uh, there's Ninja Turtles 2, Battle N Nexus. I kind of need to get it on Xbox now and get rid of this PlayStation 2 copy because I'm not going to buy the other ones on PS2. VeggieTales, Larry Boy and the Bad Apple, and X-Men Legends. Moving on down here, we have the mighty PlayStation 1. There's Bear in the Big Blue House, Area 51, Razor Racing, Spider-Man, 007 Racing, what is this one? Oh, Tomorrow Never Dies. Army Men 3D, ATV Quad Power Racing, Can We Fix It, Lalo and Stitch. These two, America's Greatest Hits, the Atari Collection. Found these at a, uh, like, local flea market place, and they were, like, two, three bucks a piece. They have a bunch of games on them, too. A bunch of, like, classic Midway and uh, Atari hits on them. So that's really cool. Uh, NASCAR 2001, Monopoly, that's Lego Rock Raiders, Lego Island 2, Jeopardy, the first and second editions, Gran Turismo, Ford Truck Mania, Ford Racing. What is this? Oh, Flintstones, Bedrock Bowling. <laughs> I forgot. A few years ago, I found a whole bunch of PlayStation games on clearance at Half Price Books. None of them had their original cases. But I got a lot of good deals. Family Card Games, The Cat in the Hat, Virtual Pool, Tigger's Honey Hunt, Rebel Assault 2. This is Masters of Terrace Kasai, I believe. Yes, or Terrace Kasi, as some people say. Uh, the Phantom Menace, Demolition. This is Dark Forces. Yeah, Dark Forces. Uh, SpongeBob SquarePants Super Sponge. Space Jam, Scooby-Doo, and the Cyber Chase. What's this one here? This stuff's going to come falling out. Uh, Rugrats, The Hunt for Reptar. And then I think this is that railroad game that I have, if I could get it to come out. Ugh, this is not the most efficient way to store your PlayStation 1 games. Yes, Railroad Tycoon 2, actually. Yippee. I should really take these price tags off. <laughs> They've been on here since 2022, <laughs> but they're kind of fun, I guess. I'll put those there for right now. Now we've got the PlayStation 3, which I think I've told the, the story about how I found out Hope had a PlayStation 3, but if you haven't heard it yet, uh, when I first started dating her and we started hanging out at her house, I found that PlayStation 3 Slim inside of that en entertainment center covered in dust, and I was like, Oh, did you know you had a PS3 down here? She's like, no. <laughs> so we've got Assassin's Creed, the Ezio Trilogy, which has... It's got Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood, and Revelations. And then... Oh, go back in there. Assassin's Creed 3, Avatar the Game, Arkham Origins, Battlefield 3. This game doesn't work. I should really get rid of it. Bloodstone, but... Bioshock 2 and Bioshock Infinite, Borderlands 1 and 2, 
Burnout Paradise, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, Black Ops 1 and 2, Modern Warfare 1 through 3, Cars Racerama, Duck Dynasty, Fantastic Four, Rise of the Silver Surfer, Far Cry 3, Grand Theft Auto 4 and 5, Gran Turismo 5, God of War Collection, this includes God of War 1 and 2, and then there's God of War 3 there, Homefront, Just Cause 2, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Remix, The Last of Us, Lego Batman 2, Lego D Dimensions, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Lego Big Planet, Little Big Planet Karting, Madden 08, Madden 09, gross, MAG, 2K Sports, Major League Baseball, 2K9, uh, Tiger Woods, PGA Tour 12, MLB, The, the, the Show 11, Mortal Kombat vs. DC Universe, NASCAR Unleashed, NBA 2K11, NCAA Football and B Basketball 09, Phineas and Ferb across the second Dimension, Skyrim, SSX, The Force Unleashed, Force Unleashed 2, in a really awesome steelbook. It's too bad this game wasn't too great, because this steelbook is really cool. Star Trek and Uncharted 1 through 3. It's time for the GameCube collection. But first, we have some extra cartridges over here. We have the Game Boy Player on our GameCube, so we have some Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance games we play on it sometimes. Emperor's New Groove, uh, Rugrats Time Travelers, the Rugrats Movie, Magical Racing Tour, Stuart Little, got some other uh, D DS games here, Sweet Life of Zack and Cody Tipped in Trouble, Raving Rabbids, Plants vs. Zombies, Arctic Tale, and Scribblenauts, and then for Game Boy Advance, Scooby-Doo 2, Over the Hedge, and Robots. Now we'll look at the GameCube stuff. Agent Under Fire bought that because it has an exploit on one of these uh, one of these cards here. I think it's this one. It's got a uh, exploit on it. No, it's not this one. That's old school. It's this one. 16 megabyte memory card here. There's a hack that you can do through Agent Under Fire. Uh, it's got some custom firmware on that that can hack into the GameCube and play the Game Boy games from the bottom so you don't need the boot up disc because the boot up disc is extremely expensive and agent under fire was like 10 bucks everything or nothing batman vengeance another gamecube copy of cars this one's the player's choice version die hard vendetta disney sports skateboarding fight night round two harry potter prisoner of azkaban and the goblet of fire lego star wars one and two mario kart double dash mario golf toadstool tour mario power tennis Mario Superstar Baseball, Metroid Prime, Monsters Inc. Scream Arena, Muppets Party Cruise, Need for Speed Hot Pursuit 2, Nickelodeon Party Blast, Nicktoons Unite, Nicktoons Battle for Volcano Island, Robots, Scooby-Doo Unmasked, Scooby-Doo Mastery Mayhem, Shrek 2, SpongeBob Battle for Bikini Bottom, Star Wars Bounty Hunter, Clone Wars, Rogue Leader, Rogue Squadron 2, Rogue Squadron 3, Rebel Strike. This d demo disc for Rebel Strike. For the longest time, I had the demo disc and not the actual game. But this demo disc is pretty cool. It has the uh, original Star Wars Atari game on it. And a couple of other fun little fun things here. Fun little fun things. Yeah, I'm very descriptive. There's everything that's on it. The Atari game is probably the best thing about it, other than the demo for Rogue Squadron 3, Super Monkey Ball 1 and 2, Top Gun Combat Zones, and X-Men, the official game. So folks, I can't think of any other games that I need to show you, because I'm thinking that's pretty much it. That is the complete video game collection for 2024. Peep the Star Wars posters behind me, and the Super Mario Kart poster shows I am a true gamer. So I have a Super Mario Kart poster up there. Yippee. I want to thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys have been enjoying Collection Month so far. I think next week is going to be the extra special uh, secret collection that I haven't told you guys about yet. Although I have dropped a hint in a previous Collection Month video. Was it this one? Was it last week's? I don't know. You'll have to go back and watch both of them to see if you can spot the hint. I will see you all next Saturday for that extra special installment of Collection Month. 
Thank you all so very much for watching. And as always, good night, everybody. Here to dance now She's here to stay